In this video, we are going to talk about setting up your payment methods list. So how can your customers pay you? What type of method of payment do you accept? Some businesses might accept credit cards only. Some accept credit cards and cash. Some accept checks, credit cards, cash. Some cash and credit card only, you know, cash and check only. Some cash only. So you're going to set up your different methods of payment that are allowed uh, for customers to pay you. So you come up here under lists and you have your customer and vendor profile list. Then you have your payment method list here. It's going to come with some standard payment methods that are pre-built in. Cash, check, Amex, Discover, Visa, MasterCard. They do have barter, which is another, <laughs> another payment type. They have e-check. Now you can take an electronic check. Uh, so let's go ahead in here and we're going to go and create a new payment type. And we're going to say that it is a ACH. So when somebody makes an ACH payment, you have all these different choices of how it can be uh, classified, the payment type, okay? Um, an ACH is pretty much like cash, but it's more like an e-check, right? It's like sending an electronic check through the through the bank system. So I'm going to go ahead and choose e-check and say OK. Where that comes in handy here is when you go to receive payments, you say what your payment method is. All right. In the customer center, uh, the customers under the additional information, I mean under the payment information, you have their preferred payment method. All right. So now I have ACH in there. Okay. And then on uh, the sales receipt here, since the sales receipt is immediate payment, you don't, it doesn't go to accounts receivable, you also have the payment method here. So anytime you're accepting payment from a customer, you're going to have to choose a payment method. The other place that you'll see it is you'll see it on your deposit slip, on your deposit sheet here. We have our payment methods. Okay, so this payment method list shows up quite a bit and you want to make sure that you keep it clean. All right, so when I go into my payment method list, all right here, First of all, you can run reports off of it. We do have quick reports for it. So let's go ahead and say check and quick report. It tells you everything that was paid by a check, all the deposits, all the invoices, everything as associated with the check. <clears throat> but if you're not going to be accepting that payment type anymore, so let's say we're not accepting bartering, uh, you can come in here and delete it. Now, if you delete it and it has been used in a prior transaction, it's going to force you to make it inactive. So I'm going to say delete. Since it warns me here, are you sure you want to delete it? That means it has not been used in a prior transaction, so I'm going to just go ahead and say OK. A check, which I know has been used in transactions before, it's not going to let me delete it, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it inactive. What that does is it just keeps it off of my list here. So if I open up the Payment Information tab, it's not going to show up here as an option anymore. Um, but it doesn't go away. It's just hidden. So it's here. Uh, show an active so it's just sitting here in the background and I can always make it active again. So that is your payment method list.